Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify your righteous and your holy name. Hallelujah. Wonderful, Jesus. Blessed be to the Most High God. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, you are high and you are lifted up. Be exalted, O oh God. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Lord, be exalted. Hallelujah. Lord, be exalted. Be magnified, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be exalted, O oh God. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Be exalted, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be exalted. Thank you, God. Be exalted. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Be exalted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be exalted. In my life, Lord, be exalted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You, O oh God, you are worthy. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Thank you, Minister Lester, for joining me with lifting up the name of the Lord, for being a wise counselor, for being a wise ruler. Hallelujah. For being altogether lovely, for being holy, for being magnificent. Hallelujah. For being sovereign. Glorify your name, Jesus, for being holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's mighty in battle. He's mighty indeed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We lift up your holy name. Hallelujah. We lift up the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is, hallelujah, a tower. It is a strong tower. Hallelujah. Has anybody ever had to run into the name of the Lord? Glory to God. When things won't change, it's time for you to run to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He is a battle axe. Hallelujah. In the time of a battle, the old saint says that he is a shelter in the time of a storm. Hallelujah. He is a keeper. My God, he is a keeper. He is a keeper. Glory to the name of the Lord. Bless you, the Lord's people. Thank you for coming to join us in prayer, for coming into agreement with us in prayer. Hallelujah. Let's exalt the name of the Lord. Just a few more moments. Put your favorite praise saying up. Hallelujah. He is a keeper. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for keeping me. I thank God for keeping me in my right mind. I thank God for keeping me well. I thank God for keeping me connected to him. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah for my family. I thank God for my family. I thank God. I thank God for you, the Lord's people. I thank God for each and every one of you that have joined me each and every week to lift me up, to pray with me, to agree with me. Um, not only as uh, I, I pray over you, but you've 
tuned in and some of you have sent me your prayers and your text messages and your phone calls and your emails. God bless you. I appreciate you for standing in the gap and making intercession on my behalf. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. As we stand to pray today in the name of Jesus, go ahead and share, 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 share with someone who has been in the hospital this week. Share with someone who you know have some prayer requests. Uh, for those of you that are uh, tuning in, this is Thursday night. And Thursday, we uh, come together and pray at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're a community of prayer, a classroom of faith. We're contractors building and equipping individuals for life. And so you are building me up and God is using me to build you up. And so we thank the Lord today as we stand together and pray. As we pray tonight, Lord, we acknowledge you as ruler, as king, as author and finisher of our faith. We pray, Lord God, today and we thank you. We acknowledge you for who you are. We, we acknowledge you for being the almighty God. We thank you, Lord God, as we stand to pray that our words are going to accomplish those things which you please. We pray the word of God on today. We pray that kingdom come, that will be done in our lives. We pray your will for our lives. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus for the assistance of the Holy Spirit today. We thank you for the assistance of the angels today. We thank you that as we pray, Lord God, that you hear us and that you answer the prayers of the righteous. The Bible says that your ears are open unto our cry, hallelujah, and that your eyes are upon us, Lord. We thank you that your eyes are upon us today, and we celebrate you and glorify you that you hear us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. That's your word. Your word says when we pray, he hears us. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I praise you today for the prayers of the righteous. I pray over each and every one of you in your respected places that the blessings of the Lord make rich and add no sorrow in your life. I pray over you today, a quickening power of the Holy Ghost. I pray over you, a sharpening of, of your mindsets. I pray over you in the name of Jesus, that your eyes are vigilant, that your spirits are sober, sober in God. I pray over you, a discernment in the name of Jesus, that you are discerning the will of God. The path of God is made plain. It's is made plain, is made plain that you will not operate or be tricked or deceived by the enemy. In the name of Jesus, even when you are unaware, the Lord is guiding you in the right place at the right time to be with the right people. Why? Because he loves you just that much. As I stand to pray over you to today, I pray in the name of Jesus for prophetic insight over your life. I pray in the name of Jesus that you have the eyes of the eagle into prayer on today. I pray over you that your spirit man is keen enough to see around sharp corners and in dark places. I pray over you in the name of Jesus and I thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that, that you pray as God's voice walking through the garden. You don't have to leave your living room. You don't have to leave your address. You don't have to leave your zip code for the power of God to roam throughout this earth and throughout this universe through your voice in the name of Jesus. I declare today that your voice is a drum, that your voice is a bass, that your voice is the thunder of God. Hallelujah. And it is sending out the ruling word of God as you pray. I pray over you in the name of Jesus that you stand as keys, kings, and you stand as priests, that things do bow. Hallelujah. Glory to God at the hearkening and at the bellowing of your word of your word as you pray. I pray over you today um, that 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 as you pray that things fall down before you, that Goliaths are slain. Hallelujah. I pray over you today that you know who you are, your identity. Glory to God, that you are God in the earth through his hands, that you lay hands on the sick. 
that you prophesy. Glory to God. I thank you right now that you minister life to those that are weak. It seems like things that are coming upon the earth are great and intimidating, but God, hallelujah, is in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of of glory. And I thank you right now today as we stand as your army. Be clothed with the, the hope of God. Be clothed with the armor of God. I pray over you today in the name of Jesus, the whole armor from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that your thoughts are arising to great places, that your spirit man is being activated and you are ascending into greater places, that the heavens are opening up over your life into greater hemispheres in the spirit atmospheres in the spirit realm in the name of Jesus that you are standing strong and firm and tall in God hallelujah be strengthened today man of God be strengthened sister Sherry be strengthened be strengthened in your body be strengthened in your mind in the name of Jesus as you stand to pray and 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 as you stand to uh, command the word of the Lord over your household and over your family and over the things that you are requesting from God. Be strengthened in Jesus' name. Sister Rotisha, be strengthened in Jesus' name. May a fresh wind of God blow in your direction in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let a fresh wind blow over you. Let new doors open. Let you be refreshed. Let you be baptized. Let you be uh, today, uplifted and strong in the power of God on today in the name of Jesus. God bless you, Mother Wilcox. Hallelujah. Great blessings fall on you in the name of the Lord. May the things that you have been praying about, let them manifest. And the people that you have been praying about, salvation over the people that you have been praying for for many years, let them manifest. Hallelujah. I know it's the 20... Uh, 2nd of July, but Mother Wilcox, I pray in the name of Jesus that even in this month that those people come to know the Lord, our God, um, that they come to know Jesus Christ as Savior as you've been praying and as you have been interceding in the name of Jesus. We thank you today for being a prayer answering God, that God will turn things around in Jesus' name. God bless you, Sister Justina in the Bahamas. We continue to lift up your granddaughter. We declare great and mighty things over her life. We breathe life into her lungs. We speak impossible things over your family in the name of the Lord. What the enemy meant for evil, the Lord is turning around and making it operate and work together for your good. That sickness can't stay in the major household. As a matter of fact, it, ain't, it cannot even come nigh your dwelling. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for your blood. As we pray, come on, you pray. You pray at home. You pray in your car. You pray in your living room. You pray. You pray wherever you are. I thank you, Lord, that you are ready and that you are waiting and that you are listening for the prayers of the righteous. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let these, your people, be strengthened. Let every prayer they pray, Lord God, let it avail. Let it avail. Let it be granted. Let the rewards of the Lord unfold for them believing, for them trusting, for them praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you right now today. Lift your hands up. If you're able to lift your hands up, say, Lord, here am I. Hallelujah. Here am I. Here am I. Speak to me. As only you can speak to me. Whisper to me as only you can whisper. Speak to my heart, oh God, as only you can speak to my heart. Thank you, Lord God, for interpretations of my dreams. Thank you that my God is a God that speak. My God is a God that delivers. My God is a God that announces great things. He's a big God. He's an eternal God. He's the kind of God that could reach into my situation and, and he can uh, 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 speak a word of wisdom that will make all the difference in how this circumstance turns around and how it plays out in the name of the Lord. There seem to be no doors open, but we prophesy and command doors to open in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are anointed to ask. 
because the Lord says, ask and it'll be given. And he said, seek and you will find. And he says, knock and the doors will be open. Father, thank you today as we lift up our hands, we declare doors are opening. I declare that I'm not stuck in a low place. I'm not stuck in, in, in a place, Lord God, without deliverance, without a continuation. Thank you that I woke up to continue. That's a word for somebody. I woke up to continue. And I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that my feet are anointed. I don't know about you, but I got my anointer oil right here and I'm about to anoint my feet. Hallelujah. That I'm walking in my wealthy place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that I'm walking in my wealthy place. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that I am walking in my wealthy place in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You don't need anybody to lay hands on you. You lay hands on yourself. Lay hands on yourself. Lay hands on yourself. Say, spirit, be open to the things of God. Come on, prophesy over yourself. Say, spirit, be open. My heart is open. My mind is open. I speak to every closed place, every cut, shut down place, every blind place. Hallelujah. Every deaf place in the name of Jesus. I thank you. Deaf place, be open. Hallelujah. Blind place. Receive sight in the name of Jesus. Every closed place in me, be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be open. Let my heart be open to the will of God. Let my heart be open to hear what the Lord has in store for me in the name of Jesus. Let my heart be open. Let it be open to forgive. Let it be open to receive the plan of God, the will of God. Let it be open. Let it be open that I will not fear. For the Lord has not given me the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. That I'll be open to promotions. That I'll be open to breakthrough. That I'll be open to wisdom. That I will be open to new and greater and more prosperous relationships. Hallelujah. Come on, be open. Open up. Open up. Open up, hallelujah. Heist open your window, my God, today. Hallelujah, heist it up. Declare over yourself, hallelujah, that I'm open to the will of God. I'm not a chicken, but I'm an eagle. I am therefore soaring into the high places of God. And Father, we repent for being comfortable in low places. We repent for being closed and closed-minded and timid and bashful, Lord God. But we thank you that you are causing us to soar and that you are sending us, Lord God, as arrows into greater places. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wealthy place, wealthy place, wealthy place that my mind is ascending. My mind is ascending. Father, I thank you that I wasn't available this time last year to receive the height of thinking that will cause my business to prosper. I wasn't available last year because I wasn't strong enough, but I thank you from that time to this time that you have built me up, that you have matured me, that you've allowed experiences to work together for my good. Hallelujah. To receive my next door, to receive my next place, to receive my next a uh, big thing, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for maturing me. Thank you, Lord God, for opening up the things that I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Thank you for causing me to be elevated because my perspective is now elevated. Thank you for causing me to go up one step higher. Thank you for causing my soul to prosper. Thank you, Lord God, for the divine timing of God. Hallelujah. I wasn't ready this time last year, but I thank you, Lord God, that I'm ready to go back to school. Thank you that I'm ready to walk into my home. Thank you, Lord God, that I'm ready for the promotion in the workplace. I'm ready, Lord God. I'm ready for the promotion in my business, in my ministry, the promotion, the sharper uh, uh, operation in the gifts of God. I wasn't ready for the apostolic call last year. Hallelujah. But I'm ready. I wasn't ready for my prophetic call last year, but I'm ready today. I thank you that I wasn't ready to operate in the evangelism that you wanted me to walk in last year. Wasn't ready for pastorialship, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
But I thank you that that teaching anointing is on me and I accept it. I accept it. I thank you that that coat of many colors is on me, Lord. Hallelujah. I was in denial. I might have even been in defeat, but I thank you for victory in this season. Hallelujah. We thank you for declaring Psalms. Proverbs, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Ecclesiastics chapter three. He said, it made everything beautiful in its season. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It, it seems unusual for things to bud and to operate and to flourish in this middle of chaos while the world is in chaos. But I promise you today, that the Lord's methods looks like madness. Hallelujah. That you'll birth things and you'll elevate and you'll uh, prosper in things uh, uh, when it looks like madness. Why? So that God can be glorified. So that he could be glorified. So he could be glorified. So that God could be glorified. Lord, be glorified in me. Be glorified in me. Let your influence, let your aroma saturate my mouth and let me speak, Lord God, and let me have the tongue of the learned. Let the prophetic words of wisdom and knowledge and understanding, Lord God, let mysteries flow through me as never before. I thank you right now that through my lips, hallelujah, Yokes are going to be destroyed. Thank you that through my lips, God, hallelujah, that doors are being pushed down. I thank you right now that there is a bulldozer in the spirit. Hallelujah. That is happening because of this prayer. Hallelujah. I thank you that because of this prayer, I am colliding with my purpose. Because of this prayer, I am bumping into Oh God, the protocol that you have for me in this season. I thank you, Lord God, for an apostolic grace and a new scepter being in my mouth. I thank you that from my living room, Lord God, I thank you, Father, from my kitchen that I am commanding great doors and great things to happen and to open over my life. I thank you. You said that I will prosper from the words that I speak. You said, oh God, hallelujah that life and death is in the power of my tongue. I thank you right now that I am eating the fruit thereof. I thank you that I eat the fruit of everything that I speak, which is your word. I thank you. 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 I thank you that jars, I thank you that jars that have been closed and locked and secrets that have been behind the key, Lord. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for new oil. I see that so clear. I thank you that jars of new oil and jars, pottery, the pottery of God. I thank you that I'm a new creation. I thank you that I'm a new container, a new vessel. I thank you that new oil is flowing, hallelujah, not only to my life, but out of my life. I thank you that my sisters and brothers will receive new breakthrough, new deliverance. Hallelujah. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that new healing is manifesting. I believe the word of God. I came to pray today. I believe the word of God. I believe the word of God. The Bible says, hallelujah, that he will be a well of life. Hallelujah. Springing up in us. I thank you that this new life, a new life, a new life, hallelujah, a new chapter, a a new venture. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, employ your mouth. Employ your mouth. Come in agreement. Employ your mouth. Employ your mouth. I thank you that there are positions that have never been created that's got about to be created for me. I thank you right now that when the earth was without a savior, hallelujah, you made a solution for my sin. So I thank you that you have a solution, God, hallelujah, to break me out of contentment and to break me out of lowliness and to break me out of where I am right now, my money is going into greater he he greater debts and 
and, and greater heights. I thank you, Lord God, for a greater responsibility of finances. Thank you, Lord God, that over the last 12 months that you are going to take a recollection, that you're going to take inventory of my management of the money that you put in my hands in the last 12 months. And I thank you that I am prospering, that you are giving me command over new territories in my finances. I thank you right now that I stand to receive. Come on, put your hands up and receive. I stand to receive. I stand to receive. I stand to receive more financial responsibility responsibility because you can trust me. You can trust me. And I appreciate the responsibility. I don't complain. I don't complain because I know that I've given you, Lord God, my heart and my mind and my money. And I thank you right now, Lord God, that more responsibility that I can manage more. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, call your call, call your new money. I, I called into my personal life. I called twenty thousand dollars more. Why? Because over the last twelve months, I have spent time praying and I have spent time managing and I. I've spent time being counseled and I have spent time being diligent, building myself. I've spent time working side hustles and overtime and I've spent time investing in my credit. I have spent time investing in my savings account. I have spent time investing in the things around me that will bring me into greater wealth and showing God that I'm not afraid of money. Come on. I've spent time. I thank you that the love God has for me and my friends friendships, hallelujah, and my relationships is coming. Even if it's your will, God, for spousal, I call that. Because why? Because I've spent time working on my heart. I've spent time working on my mind. I've spent time healing the things that have been broken. Come on. I don't know what y'all came to do, but I came to pray. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that I don't run from things that are conflicting. I don't run from conflicts and relationships. I might get mad. I might get frustrated, but I'm not a runner. But my feet, hallelujah, are staying in the wealthy places. I thank you, Lord God, for connecting me to pastors, to apostles, to teachers, to evangelists, Lord God, to business owners, Lord God, that are on fire about doing your work. I thank you in the name of Jesus for sending me students, Lord God, who are ready to dive deeper into the word of the living God. I thank you for bringing me sisters and bringing me brothers, Lord God, that will challenge me, that will charge me, that will bless me, that will cause me to see my priorities, that will provoke me. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for sisters and brothers that will cause me to climb higher and be thirstier. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus for the things of God, the things of business. Hallelujah. The things that are kingdom minded and kingdom, kingdom attached. I thank you that I I am a magnet for the things of God. I thank you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for greater, 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 greater. Come on. Can you stand to be blessed? Can you stand greater? Father, I thank you for the book that was released, but I thank you, Lord God, for the next release. I thank you, Lord God, that my spiritual feet, I don't know where you are today, but you better get your anointing oil. I already anointed my feet. But I thank you, Father, for the spiritual spring that is under my feet. I thank you, Lord God, for the trampoline and the spirit that I am jumping higher, that I am jumping higher, and I am being thrusted into the next place. Hallelujah. I thank you that as I jump, I'm being thrusted into the next place. I thank you for the enemies of progress. But Father, I thank you, Lord God, for causing me, Lord God, to be thrusted into a greater well of authorship. I thank you, Lord God, for causing, Lord God, the writing anointing, Lord God, to be on my lips, to be on my hands and to flow out of, Lord God, out of my spirit. Father, I thank you that my lips are that of a ready writer. I thank you, Lord God, that I'm here to write the answers of the Lord to your people. I thank you, Lord God, that there are some struggles, Lord God, that your people need to read. I thank you, but since before the beginning of time, you have been writing 
writing. The Bible declares, Lord God, that you have written our names, oh God, in the Lamb's book of life. You said that things that are appearing now have been written before time. And I thank you right now that I am a walking epistle. I thank you that I am a living testimony of the things that are to be written, the things that are be to be extended. I thank you right now that the pages of my life declare the miracles of God, that we have not seen the last miracles. Father, I thank you that fresh miracles are coming through my life and that they're coming through this people. I thank you, Lord God, that we have birth in the spirit and in the natural sons and daughters, Lord God, that will command a greater oil. We thank you right now that we have not seen the last days of your healing. Father, I thank you that we have not seen the last days of your prophetic uh, outpour. Father, we thank you right now that we have not seen, Lord God, the same old, same old, but Father, we thank you for new lenses. We thank you, Father. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you. We praise you. We praise you in faith today, Lord. Father, we thank you right now, Lord God, for a lens that will come over our natural eyes, that will come over our spiritual eyes. Oh God, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will cause our eyes to be fixed on things that have been looked over, things that haven't even been revealed. Come on, we're praying today. We're praying today your word. We're praying your day. You said that eyes haven't seen. You said that eyes haven't seen, but Father, we thank you today. We thank you today, Lord God, that we will be the eyes that see. You said ears haven't heard. Father, thank you today that we, oh God, have an ear. Uh, we have the ears in the spirit that will hear in the name of Jesus. We thank you today. We thank you today. We thank you today. We thank you that we're about to release the warnings of the Lord. We thank you that we're about to release, hallelujah, the things that will warn the men and will warn the, men, the women of God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We declare your word that you don't do anything except you relieve, reveal it to your servants. And so God, we pray today. We pray today. We pray today. We pray today for the dreams. We pray today for the revelations. We pray the Lord today, Lord God, hallelujah, for the acumen, for the accuracy. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, for clarity, for purification in our gifts. Thank you for the purity in the gifts. Father, thank you for the purity in the gifts. Thank you for purity in the gifts. Thank you, Lord God, for purifying the stream of our gifts. Father, thank you right now, hallelujah, that we are the company of prophets. Hallelujah. That see, uh, hallelujah, that we are the company of prophets, Lord God. Hallelujah. That are seeing, Lord God, in the library of heaven. We thank you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, as we ask you, Lord God, to ascend. We thank you for permeation. We thank you for the aroma. We thank you for exchange. You said that as these prayers go up, that they are coming into your nostrils as a sweet smelling sacrifice. Give God something to smell. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for purification, 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 Lord God. Hallelujah. Let us have a frequency that will hear the Lord. Thank you that we will have a frequency that will see the Lord. We thank you for a frequency. Hallelujah. A download. Thank you for portals. Glory be to God. We thank you for portal portals tonight. Portals into the heavens, portal into the heavens, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, where our prayers will ascend into heaven, Lord God, and bring about change in the earth that will bring about change in our states, in our governments, in our nations, oh Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify you today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Purify purify our hearts. There was a song, hallelujah, that uh, 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 William Murphy sung. He said, purify our hearts, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that as these portals are open, hallelujah, they're open over our lives, God, of purity, of sanctification, of holiness. 
Glory to God in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God, in the name of Jesus, that deliverance is coming forward, that deliverance is coming forward, that deliverance is coming forward in the name of Jesus, that we will not live with sickness. We're not dying from sickness. We're not dying in poverty. We're not living in poverty. Come on for the kingdom of heaven, suffer violence and the violence take it by force. Hallelujah. He put it in you. Open up your mouth today, 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 today. Be open. Mouth be open. Hallelujah. Not just my physical mouth, but the mouth of my belly is open, but the mouth of my hunger is open. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because where you are hungry, you will be fed. And I thank you right now that I will not be a dry, staggering soul in the earth realm begging for bread. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, what that I will not operate in a spiritual drought, but I I will be a prophet with a cutting edge, that I will be an intercessor, oh God, that will pierce the hearts, oh God, of those who are lost, those who are bound. And I thank you that you came to set the captives free, but you got to do it through a man. You got to do it through a woman. You got to do it through a willing vessel. Oh God, thank you. Here am I. Here am I. Keep me saturated. In the name of Jesus, that I will be a co consecrated vessel of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, a consecrated vessel in the name of the Lord. Loose my riches. Oh God, hallelujah. So that I can operate, so I can operate. Loose my riches in the name of Jesus. That if there be any donkeys tied up that is meant for me, let them be loosed in the name of Jesus. I thank you in the name of the Lord. Any vehicle. Glory to God. Any medium, glory to God. Anything that is required to be in my hands to push as a plow. I thank you, Lord, in the name of the Lord, that as I push forward. Father, thank you for closing doors over my yesterday, that the baggage of my yesterday is closed, that the doors of yesterday is closed, never to return. I thank you, God, that your word declares that then those of us that preach this gospel, that we are to preach and not run and not look back, that we are to walk forward and not look back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that my issues are being resolved in today. And the only thing that I will speak about concerning yesterday is to testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I thank you, Lord God, that I'm pushing forward, that I'm making a way, God. I thank you in the name of Jesus as you prayed, as you prayed, as you promised that you will make a way in the wilderness and that you will make highways. I thank you that I'm on the highway, that I'm on the highway, that I'm on the highway. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, that I'm on the highway for my grandchildren. I am on a highway and I'm clearing a path for my daughter, that I'm clearing a path for my spiritual children, that I'm, I'm, I am clearing a path in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for feeding your hungry children. I thank you for feeding your hungry children today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, come on, come on, come on. They that hunger and thirst, come on. They that hunger and th thirst, come on. They that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Let the songs of Zion come through the belly of your people. Let a whale come through the bellies of your people. Let our musicians, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, receive, receive, receive the songs of the Lord. Let the intercessors receive a new cry. Let them, let them them. Let them, let them march to the drum, Lord God, that will open cages and open wounds, Lord God, to birth, to birth. Come on. Let there be a new travail in the earth. Let there be a new travail in the earth. Let our apostles build in a new era. Let our apostles build. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let them build on a new foundation in the heavens, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let a manifestation and let them 
there be a saturation, Lord God, come over every apostolic gift. Let a wind push them, oh God, to new heights and new depths in you. In the name of the Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you over every apostle, God. Let there be new vision. Let there be a vision, God. Let them carry out that which you've already impregnated them with. Let the prophets, Lord God, herald. Let them bellow. Let them beckle, be beckon, and let them, Lord God, prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let them prophesy to the nations a, a new horizon, a new coming, a new order. Let them prophesy in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let the power, Lord God, hallelujah, of Ezekiel be upon them, God. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy over those things that look dead, that look, oh God, that they can't live like they shall not live. We send the wind. We send life. We send abundance. We send God, the Zoe, uh, life upon them in the name of Jesus. Father, those things that look impossible. Father, thank you right now. We pray the word of God that nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. Father, thank you now. Thank you now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My house looked dead, but I prophesy life in the name of Jesus. Come on, prophesy, 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 prophesy that the words you speak will not fall. Thank you that the words you speak, you will speak with accuracy, that you will speak in the name of Jesus with description, that you will speak with clarity, that you will speak uh, the description that has been written of you. Come on, come on, come on. This is the volume. This is the volume of the book that was written of you. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, get that cup and go down deep. Get a bucket, get a barrel in your spirit. Come on, how much can you take today? How much can you push out? How much can you hold? How much of God can you receive today? Come on, come on, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. I am. I am a house of prayer. I am a mansion of prayer. Hallelujah. I am a mansion of prayer. I thank you that prayer is going on in my spirit. Prayer is going on in my heart. Thank you that my spirit is praying even when my body is sleeping. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That my way, that my that my prayer life is a will, is a will, that it is a will, that it is a forever churning will of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on. This is how you pray. Come on. Pray, 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 pray. You might be sitting in your living room, but my feet in the spirit is walking into rich places, into new places. Glory. I give voice to the word of God that I prophesy, that I prophesy, that I prophesy over my body, that I prophesy over my body, over my cells restoration, invigoration, vitality, and health. Come on, prophesy to your skin cells. Be preserved in the name of Jesus. Prophesy to your joints. Prophesy to your muscles, to your arteries. Come on, prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy in the name of Jesus to your intellect, to your intelligence. I receive new revelation in the word, new study habits in the word. I thank you and I praise you where there's been staleness in my relationship with God. I send a fresh wind. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I thank you right now, Lord God, for a north wind coming in. And I thank you for an east wind blowing out all of the negativity all of the tricks and traps and all of the things that have been caught up in my flesh. Let an east wind blow. Hallelujah. And let a north wind come to restore. Let the north wind come to replenish. Let the north wind come to rain down afresh in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 One of the last uh, 21 day fast that we had uh, the Lord changed my prayer language. 
And so I pray that over you in the name of Jesus. I pray it. I pray it. I pray it. I pray it in the name of Jesus. I pray that as the Lord change your prayer language, that it will trans be transformative transformative, that it brings a wisdom that you haven't known before, that your tongues bring in mysteries that you haven't known before, the mysteries in the name of Jesus on how to do the things that you desire to do. And when you desire to do them, that you will know the calendar of heaven, that you will know the timetable of the Lord concerning your life. Come on. The Bible says that the sons of Issachar knew the times of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He is of no respect of persons. Glory to the name of the Lord. I thank you that I'm not just maturing in age, but I'm maturing in my mantle, that I am maturing, hallelujah, in prophetic order, that I am maturing, glory to the name of the Lord, in every gift of my life, hallelujah, that my lips are becoming more sweetened, hallelujah, with the things that I speak. I thank you that the atmosphere of my life um, that, that might be in a drought is being moisturized and replenished by what I speak. I thank you right now, hallelujah, that it is so in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that this is the era of our children. This is the era of our children that will be broke. They will break through, that they will break through ceilings that have been over their lives, that I prophesy over our children in the name of Jesus, where things that have been out of their reach and out of their grasp, uh, they've been running on a treadmill and on the hands to wheel in the name of the Lord. Thank you right now. Hallelujah that the tread upon their feet will begin to gain progress and they will gain progress in their relationships and they will gain progress in their education and they will gain project progress in their finances and they will gain progress in the name of Jesus over childhood church hurts and childhood traumas and I thank you that they will gain progress in their fights and in their battles in the spirit realm that they will overcome alcoholism and smoking weed and being connected to the wrong people and neediness in the name of Jesus. I declare over our children, Father, in Jesus' name, that we are breaking sex addictions in the name of the Lord. We are breaking addictions uh, 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 that has been in their minds and anxiety and a disruption of their sleep and where your children have been haunting and not able to sleep. We break that in the name of Jesus and we thank you right now. Hallelujah. Let that be a new heart horizon uh, 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 of victory in our children. Let our children see the prayers of the righteous. Let our children see uh, uh, everything that we have prayed for. Let them see the prosperity. Let them see the wealth. Hallelujah. Everything that we have cried and labored for our children. Let our children walk uh, uh, in their properties. Let our children walk in the divine callings. Let our children walk out of fast food restaurants restaurants as workers and own businesses and be CEOs and, and be lawmakers. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, father, thank you. Where we were been, have been limited. Lord God, let our children possess, let our children possess greater. Let our children possess Lord God, the mantles at their age at 19, 20, 21, 17, 16, 15, 12. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let our grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. God, we thank you right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, as we stand, as we stand to prophesy. You better stand on a mountain today. I stand on the mountain, hallelujah, of entertainment, of authorship, of, 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 of articulation, that my daughter will write the books that I should have written at 19. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, God, that, that the literary uh, uh, awards and achievements that have been assigned to my bloodline. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. You better pray. You better pray. You better pray. You better pray in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you that, 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 that curses of divorce, that curses of wrong mates and wrong spouses in the name of Jesus are being broken. Father, I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, uh, for that misplaced affection being 
uh, being, being, being overthrown. Thank you for bottling up God in the name of Jesus, that misplaced uh, affection and cause them to be pure. Cause the us, uh, they said, don't teach abstinence to your kids because it's unrealistic. But in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. That out of our prayers, Lord God, that our children will long to have the promises of God, that our children long to have the promises of God, the promises of marriage, the promises of a fruitful marriage and a fruitful bed. Come on, come on, come on. In the name of Jesus, come on, problems that you experience. In the name of the Lord, we thank you today. We thank you today for unraveling our children uh, in, the, in the craziness of how we raise them and the areas when we were sick, when our personalities were dysfunctional, when we were acting out of hurt. God, thank you for causing grace and causing a, a, a healing and causing to deli and deliverance to come over onto our children. In the name of the Lord, we thank you today. We praise you today. We thank you for, uh, 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 that's right, wholeness, hallelujah, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Those of you that are pregnant, I pray over you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I pray over you and the children that you are carrying. I pray over you in the name of Jesus. They will want for no good thing in the name of Jesus. That things are lining up, hallelujah, to work together for your good in Jesus' name. Kings and priests, hallelujah, supernatural provision, identity, clarity. I thank you that they will walk in the rightful identity given to them by God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. I speak over those of you that have been raised by step parents, hallelujah. I thank over you. I pray over you in the name of Jesus. I pray the right relationships over those of you that have stepchildren and are stepchildren. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let there be love. Let God give you a godly love. Receive a godly love. I break the spirit of resentment and the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of fear that that comes in um, in stepchildren relationships. In Jesus' name, Father, thank you right now. Hallelujah. I thank you right now for God sending healing, sending healing in all manner of relationships concerning your children. Hallelujah. We thank you today, Lord. We praise you today, Lord. In Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to put somebody's name in the comments. I want you to send this prayer. Send this prayer. Send this prayer. Send this prayer, hallelujah. Send this prayer to somebody you love. Send it to somebody you know. Thank you, Jesus. Man ought to always pray. Man ought to always pray. Don't you jump off of this live, hallelujah. Don't you jump off of this live. Put somebody's name in the comments. I want you to come in agreement and I need you to say amen. Don't you jump off of this live. It's time out for you robbing yourself and you robbing God. Not only you usually hear that, you hear that, shall a man rob God? Usually we hear that when it's a tight speech. Don't rob God of an opportunity to be saturated in your lives through the time of prayer, through the time of prayer, through the time of prayer. You hear me? Don't you jump off of this live. Don't you, don't you dare turn the page on God. Give God an opportunity. Give God an opportunity to break through some walls. Give God an apostolic uh, 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 opportunity in your life. You, 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 you've been in a place, you've been in a place and let God break you out. Let God give you the promotion in the spirit realm. Let him heal you. Let him spend this time with the Lord. Put somebody's name in the comments in the name of Jesus. Those of you, uh, 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 I hear the Holy Ghost saying, those of you that, 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 that without jobs, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, without employment, I thank you in the name of the Lord that this is about to be the best season of opportunity for you. This is about to be the best season of opportunity for you. Doors look like they have been closed in your face. Good, because this is about to be the best season of opportunity for you. 
that God is hand choosing and hand picking and he is hand selecting you. He's hand selecting you. He's hand selecting you. Hand select. Don't take this so literal. Not necessarily an employment, but a business because some of you all are about to make a transition because someone else need to be in that role. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is about to be a promotion, 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 promotion. There is about to be a transfer, glory, of titles to some of you that are watching this live stream. Transfer of titles. There's been a nothingness. There has been, you've been held back. There's been a nothingness that has been happening in your life. It seems like nothing has been happening. Seems like every job that you get, um, nothing has been happening, but there is about to be a great opportunity for you. Great opportunity for you. And what do you have to do? What do you have to do? You got to open up your heart and receive it. You got to open and operate by faith. You got to plant that centeredness of belief in your spirit. In the name of Jesus, this is about release that over you in the name of the Lord, where, I, where it's been hard. Glory. All you need is one yes. All you need is one phone call. All you need is one email. All you need is one text message in the name of the Lord. I release this favor over you in Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name, in Jesus' holy name. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that that that, that some of you that uh, uh you wondering why the doors hadn't been opened, it's because you connected some of you to the wrong people. And so for those of you that are connected to the wrong people and you're in the wrong relationships and it's been hard for you to break up, I release that breakup anointing on you. That you're, you're, you're trying to make plans outside of the will of God for your life. You're looking for things to, to break open and it hadn't broke open yet. It's because you connected in the wrong places. In the wrong places. Some of you, you ran. You ran from some places. You ran from some places because people uh, uh, that were there that intimidated you. And some of you, you haven't gone into the right places because of the wrong people you're connected to. You better hear the spirit of the Lord. I release over you now. Yeah. Some of y'all are going to wake up single. Some of you all, you, you made plans to move, but you're going to wake up uh, 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 with, with, the, with the right perception of what you need to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Some of you all, you are afraid to go where God is sending you. Um, doors have been closed in your face because you're not in the right location. Take it from somebody that knows. Some of you all who've been, been playing, you hear God. I hear God so strong in my spirit. You have been playing with God about people in your life. Do not be bamboozled. Do not be bewitched. Do not allow your flesh to be under the wrong influence. Do not allow yourself uh, to be under the aroma uh, 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 of deception. Ah, God, my, 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 she be cool, sir. You better not allow yourself. You better not allow yourself. And for those of you that are business owners, I hear commercial property, commercial property, commercial property, commercial property, commercial property. We thank you for favor being released for commercial property. All God needs you to do is to walk out on faith. All I need you to do is to walk out on faith. You hadn't gotten it because you have not pursued. You haven't pursued in faith. Bible says when you stand to pray, he said, believe. When you, when you forgive, he said, stand to pray. When you stand to pray, forgive. But you also need to believe. That's the scripture. Come on, read your Bible. Read it. Mark chapter 11. Read your Bible. That's what we got to do. We got to do. We got to believe. You got to believe. When you pray, you got to believe. Hear the word of the prophet and so shall you prosper. Hear the word. I got people that is watching this, this live. They missed the word of the prophet. They did not obey. You, 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 you're in a, you're in, you're in a time period. You're locked in a situation. You're suffering right now because you did not obey the word of the prophet. You did not obey. Hear the word of the Lord and obey. 
You cannot stay on this live. Look at this live. Look at this 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 video on, on YouTube. You can't watch this replay and, and think that the word is coming for the person over your shoulder. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word. And, and, and to some of you, I can hear the I can hear God saying, This is not my first time. Like many places in the Bible, uh, where where the word of the Lord came again unto you saying it's time for you to leave the places and get disconnected get disconnected soul ties be broken in jesus name wrong influences be disconnected in jesus name and some of you all that are are, are smoking that are drinking that that you are eating yourselves in a place of, of being in a fog i hear god he said, no matter how uh, diluted you get in the natural, you heard me. You can smoke as much as you want to smoke. You can drink as much as you want to drink. You can sex as much as you want to sex. But you heard me the first time. I hear the word of the Lord. I hear the word of the Lord. You heard me. Believe the word of the prophet. And so shall you prosper. Opportunities are coming like a rain, like a like a rain, like a mighty rain. Opportunities are coming. Opportunities are coming like a mighty rain, like a mighty rain, like a mighty rain, like a mighty rain. Like a mighty rain. It's not time for you to prepare. It's here. It is here. It is here. And it's time for you. It's time for you. There was not a promise. There was not a promise to Noah um, about the rain and the flood coming that didn't carry him somewhere. You better listen to me. You better hear God. There was not a, a promise of the rain coming without it producing something. Ah, There was not a promise uh, uh, of the flood coming to carry you away. And to take you somewhere. Hear me. It's, it's, it's not preparation season. It's here. The rain has already begun to flow in our direction. See the signs of the times. Not the signs of the times uh, all, only that for people uh, to get their life right. And to get their lives in order. Because Jesus is soon to come. Yes. Primarily. And foremost. As it relates to God revealing his promises to his people, as it relates to God revealing his promises to his people, he's not a man that he should lie. So whatever he got to orchestrate to fulfill his word is coming. Whatever God has to do, the word of the Lord will not fall to the ground. And so I prophesy. I'll add more before I take it back. There have been things that I have prophesied to people and, 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 and a space of time for it to manifest and to flourish and to come to pass. And they call me and say, this is that, that you spoke or that you prophesied. I see, I see, I see many eggs being broken over. And there, there are some things that are, that are, that are that are coming out of its shell. There are some things coming out of this out of its shell. There's some new things on the rise for some of you. There are some moves, and I'm not talking about you making moves as in you 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 you're doing plans and ventures. I'm talking about geographical moves. Praise the Lord. Some geographical moves are taking place. You've been asking God for clarity on your location. You've been asking God for clarity uh, on, on what to do. Hear me, hear me. And it's three of you that have had uh, dreams in the last seven days. I hear you, Holy Ghost. It's three people watching this live. You've had dreams in the last seven days about this. You better hear God. This is your confirmation. I don't play with God. I don't play with his people. I got to give an account for what I say. The three of you that are watching, there have been dreams. How you know it's the Lord? If, if he's talked to you, 
He has been ministering to you about your location and, and about the things that he's moving you into. Hear God as this is a confirmation because prophecy is supposed to come to confirm. It's supposed to come to confirm. It's supposed to come to confirm. It's supposed to come give you instruction. It's supposed to come and give you guidance. Praise the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Stand on the word of God. Believe his prophet. And so shall you prosper. Trust God. Obey God. Watch God open things for you. Watch God open up the gate. Op watch him open up the door. Don't worry about where you're going to live. Listen, opportunities are coming great. Opportunities are coming great. There's some people who just get up and move because they can. But there are some things that are designated by God because a plan is in action for your life. Huh? Listen to me concerning your move. There are many plans in a man's heart. Listen, but it's the will of the Lord that's going to prevail over you. It's the will of God that is going to prevail over you. And this is what true prophecy is supposed to do. Our prophets are supposed to stand in, in the midst of God's people and give instruction and give direction, give clarity. That's what the prophetic word is supposed to do. It is supposed to bring instruction. This is what we're supposed to do. Listen, pay attention, and obey. Get yourself out of the relationships that God has called you out of. Get yourself. Gird up yourself from out of the places and with, and with these people who God... And listen, the trick can be that they have it all together. The trick can be that it looked like God, that your emotions feel good. Listen to me. You better obey the spirit of the Lord. I don't care what she gave you. I don't care what he gave you. I don't care what they have. You better hear God. Hear the Lord. Hear the, hear the Lord. Listen, it's too many things going on in the land right now for you to be guessing and living off of what you think. It's too many things happening. It's too many tragedies taking place for you being out of order and out of the, the, the place that you need to be in. Listen, pay attention. I sense that shells breaking open, shells breaking open, like egg shells and things being birthed, breaking open in your lives, individual lives. I pray over those of you that have fallen away from God. Those of you, you've fallen away from God. You've fallen away from God. I'm not talking about those of you who don't go to church. I'm not talking about those of you who don't read your Bible. I'm talking about those of you that you have been in relationship with God and you have fallen away from God. I'm praying for you. I'm praying restoration. I'm praying deliverance. I am praying a fresh fire for you to come back to your relationship with God, your relationship with God, the relationship where you would hear his voice so clear. Um, some of you have gotten to a place to where you, you, you're content with not hearing the voice of the Lord, where you would meet him early and you would wake up hearing his voice and you will wake up getting instructions for the day, but because life has gotten busy. Because situation has, 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 has happened in your life. Now you just ride the wave and you just ride the current. I'm praying for you to get back in place. I'm praying for you to get back in place. Listen, because God got some things that he need to say to you. It's some instructions that he want to give you. It, it, it is some lives that he wants you to touch. There, there, there are some sentences still left in your purpose. Uh, you haven't even begun to thrive and to see the depth of what he has uh, available to you, available to you. There are some things that suppose to happen for you and through you. But you but you got slung. 
you got tossed. Uh, 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 a, a tribulation has come. Maybe you got overwhelmed. Hey, come back to God. Come back to hearing his voice because you're passing off of looking good. You're passing uh, off of uh, 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 hearing the gospel music. You're passing off of looking at YouTube videos, but he wants to hear from you. He wants to hear from you. God wants to hear from you. He wants to hear what's in your heart. There's some things that he want to supply to you. There are some things that you haven't spoken. There are some desires that he wants to meet that only he can meet. Only he can meet. Come back. Come back to God. Come back today. Come back in this moment in the name of Jesus. May your spirit continue to be troubled until you are crying with the passion for his voice. May things continue to be closed. It is a blessing for things not to operate and not to function without God. How terrible it is to be Ichabod. How terrible it is for us to function and there is no presence. How terrible it is for, for us to do ministry, to have work, to run your business, and there is no presence. How terrible it is. How terrible it is. Come back to God. Come back to God. Come back to, to that reliable, loving, dependent relationship where you used to depend on him for every relationship, not just because you're gifted. Gifted people are the most guiltiest people to abandon the place of worship, abandon the place of intimacy with God. How many of you, oh, you know you could be in the same room but disconnected? I hear the Lord today. I hear the Lord. I hear the Lord. You, 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 you are in this place to where we're doing the, you're doing the antics. You're doing, you're doing, uh, 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 uh. Uh, the the things that that make it, that would make it seem like, but he doesn't want that. He he doesn't want that. In the book of Isaiah chapter fifty eight, it was some people accused God of not hearing them, and 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 he was so he was so wanting them to have the truth. He said, "You call you called this fast. You called it. You didn't welcome me, but you called it." He says, when I call the fans, he said, is it not to undo, undo heavy burdens, break the span, um, do undo uh, heavy burdens and, 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 and break the bands of wickedness. God has a penetrating fire, a sword that you are to walk with that will chop down barriers in your life, but you got to get back connected. Listen to me because we're hiding right now. The church, many of the churches dispersed and weren't able to legally gather because of restricting ga uh, gatherings, restrictions and numbers. But listen, some of you all have went into hiding. You let, you let the, the, the lack of gathering, you let the coronavirus and you let the social distance become an excuse for your flesh to take over. You better hear me. What is a prophet if he can't warn you about the things of God? What is it? What is he? What is he good for? Listen to me. You treading on dangerous ground. Get yourself back in a place to where you're crying, where you're crying out to God. I pray the healing power of God over your heart, where you were overwhelmed, where, 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 where you were in fear, where you were hurt in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, I hear you. You treading on the grounds of witchcraft. Oh my God, I hear you, Lord. Some of you all who are operating, you're operating out of hurt and you're operating out of pain. You're not operating from a clear, a clear place and you're not operating from a clear conscience because you're still praying over people and you haven't repented. 
you're praying over people and you still have alts in your heart from leadership, from your sisters and brothers. You're holding them accountable. They're just humans. Let them go. Get free. Get free. Get free. Get free. Get free. If you were truly connected to God and you had an alt with somebody and they reached out to you trying to resolve the alt alt, and you stubborn, the Bible says that stubbornness is as the sin of witchcraft. Let me know if I'm in the book. It's time to repent. And the more you stay away from, from, from being on the altar, where sacrifices are made, where sin is forgiven, where transformation takes place. That's why people run from God. They run from God because there is a threat of transformation. When your flesh is ruling you, there'll be no transformation. There'll be no transformation. That's why we fast and pray. And we're going to have a 12-day fast in the month of October. I've been very prayerful. Been very prayerful. Been very prayerful. This is why you stay a living sacrifice. This is why your flesh got to burn because you'll be okay praying two or three days a week. You'll be okay on fire for 30 days and then you get extinguished. Then you get this, uh, you get extinguished. Your fire go out. You get around people. Your, your life get busy. And you run, 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 and you are no longer um, making sacrifices as unto the Lord. What is a sacrifice? Something of value. Something of value. Yes, God. It's even some prophets out here that need to come back to God. Because you scared of people. You scared of people. But God didn't call you to be scared of people. He didn't call you to be popular. He didn't call for you to, 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 to be liked by the nations. He called you to be a voice. He called you to tear down some stuff. Sometimes you got to make an enemy when you stand for God. When you stand for the Lord, sometimes you got to make an enemy. My God today. It's some prophets that need to bring your voice back to God. Because your voice is uh, uh, with your ego. Your voice is on your main, on your own problems. Your voice is, is looking at your own situation. It's a trick. It's a trap. It happens to everybody. Where we have to make a choice to serve the Lord or get caught up in our own stuff. Everybody. Everybody. There is, there is no person alive with breath that has, uh, th that doesn't have to choose to serve and obey God. Not one person, not one person, not one person. Choose you this day, who you gonna serve? Who you gonna serve? Choose this day. Praise the name of the Lord. I've been obedient and I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight because I truly have obeyed the voice of God, the voice of God, the voice of God. Those of you that are on, on here, I don't make an appeal every time. If you feel led, so if you want to, don't. That's simple. Praise the Lord. I want to tell you about 10 tips that is coming up the last Saturday of this month. Um, the last Saturday of this month, special guest Andrea Plowden will be our facilitator for this session. You don't want to miss it. Um, the topic is equipped to fight the protective measures. You want to make this free live event a part of your day, Saturday morning, July 31st at 10 a.m. You also want to join us for um, the night of worship, the night of worship, uh, the night of worship, which is um, July 29th, July 29th at 7 p.m., it's the last Thursday of the month, the last Thursday of the month. Um, we'll be joined by Elder Justin and Candace Thomas in Gainesville, Florida. 
Um, they're going to teach. They're going to sing whatever it is that God wants them to do as a night of worship, as our as our uh, gathering in the month of July. So please mark your calendars and turn on your notifications not to forget it. Uh, for those of you um, that want my cash app, it's uh, Natasha N. Davis. It's the dollar sign, Natasha N. Davis. So you can go to natashadavis.org and use your debit or credit card to give securely um, on my website, natashadavis.org. I have been obedient. I want you to put oh, amen. Don't jump off. Put amen, amen in the comments as we come in agreement. As we come in agreement. This has been a Holy Ghost field time. It's been a Holy Ghost field time. I got three pages of notes over here that was written out um, to continue on the maintenance plan that that um, that that was written out, written out. But hey, to God be the glory. He did what he wanted to do. And I'm just here to follow his lead. I'm here to follow his lead. Amen. I'm here to follow his lead. Thank you so very much for joining um, um, thank God for those of you that came in agreement, came in agreement with every prayer. Listen to the replay, listen to the replay and, um, listen to the replay, share the replay, share it. You can go out on YouTube and subscribe and you'll be able to see, um, every time a video is loaded to my channel. And this is one of the videos that will go to my channel. And if you don't want folks all on top of you about being on social media, sometimes when you come on so social media, people see you on social media and then you get interrupted. So go incognito over on to uh, YouTube, Natasha N. Davis in the space bar and um, watch the replay as you are sewing. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that every word prayed. Every prophecy spoken, oh God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord God, that it will manifest, that it shall manifest. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we love you, we glorify you, oh God, and you are worthy and so deserving of all that we give and all that we sow in Jesus' name. I love y'all. Be blessed tonight. Thank you, Reticia. God bless you as well. Glory be.